Hi everybody, this is the new moon energy reading for the uh, second new moon in um, 2022. The new moon will be on February the 1st. This moon definitely means radical change is going to happen. There is nothing deeply, deeply sobering about the second new moon of the year though. The new moon in Aquarius on February the 1st, the days around it will bring some unexpected changes that forces us to really take stock of what we fear. The, but once the um, dust settles, you'll have the opportunity to pursue a path that wouldn't have been available before. This might be a path that brings us closer to our destiny. <clears throat> Excuse me, if you let it. So be open to receive the change or see the change. As we start a new lunar cycle, change feels heavy in the air. The full moon back on January the 12th, um, on, in January 12th pushes us to the understanding what makes us feel safe and secure now that we have a better idea of what those things are it is time to put into action and the radical changes we need to make are going to be um, there with the, this new moon in the sign of aquarius the rebel of the zodiac changes uh, change is not only imminent but required in other words, letting go of what is of no use to you, for example. So making room for the new to come in. Because this is a new moon, so that means also new beginnings. It is time to step into your uniqueness and dance more wildly to the music of your soul. In other words, dance to your own tune. Uranus will be exasperating this energy as he makes a square to the new moon this will give uh, this will gift us an opportunity to adjust once that's only that was only available if we can maneuver through whatever surprises life throws us in other words if we face our fears and we uh, take action on our fears or our worries or what is bothering us or letting go of the old then we will be able to maneuver through this heavy time okay and whatever life throws on at us as we adjust saturn will help us find stability structure and order and mercury will present ways of transforming the old to the new when he goes direct two days later like i said yesterday i think mercury will go direct on the fourth so this this uh this information that i got is an astrologer but she's got different dates like i've seen that the full moon would be or the new moon would be on the 29th and uh, this astrologer says it's on the first okay I, I do get my information from different uh, articles and usually from the old farmer's almanac. So basically there will be radical changes and we must uh, go with the flow otherwise we will just get more frustrated and stressed out and be open to receive these new changes. All in all we must cling to what we, we know um, and, uh, and what uh, we need to remove. Also, this new moon requires us to approach the new moon in Aquarius on February the 1st by letting go of the old and so that we have room to bring in the new. It is time to initiate new beginnings and planting seeds, just as ancient farmers sowed their seeds for the next harvest. Under a new moon, so must we. This time will be ripe for a new innovations. Like I said, the new moon 
is a, a new beginnings. Also, um, in the readings this week for next week, for the coming week, uh, there was a lot of uh, positive uh, cards like the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, um, all be endings, new beginnings, the world and a fortune card came out quite often and Aquarius came out quite often, the card that represents Aquarius, the star, and also the Ace of Swords, and also the Page of Swords. So it's quite unique, and I'm that even before I did the research on the new moon, I did the readings, and that is what um, stuck with me yesterday once I was finished. Okay, it is time to step into your own individuality and uniqueness and pr try to dance um, uh, with the music of your soul. So go for what you want, that is what it means. And start taking the steps, come into action. And this will set your, in and set your intentions and this will align uh, more so with your uh, authentic version of yourself. So know what you want to, um, to what, what your goal or wish is, so that you can set the intentions and then uh, your, your soul will align with your chakras and with the energy around you. Um, also, um, light a candle uh, if you can sometimes, and just light a candle and do your wish or set your intentions and so accept your new energy that's coming into your life perhaps you will create a list of all the things that you might want or you want would like to do like your wish list or your goals and so that you can bring it into reality in the next few months if not this month and remember Rome wasn't built in one night so set your um put your wishes or your dreams goals on a list and then um see what that's always when i have the um seven of cups i always say make a list pros and cons and I see which goal or wish would come in much easier and quicker because this will motivate you to um go on to the next one okay um any of these activities will work to amplify the power of the new moon. So just let the energy of the moon <coughs> influence you uh, to set your intention and to uh, gather um, the energy to bring it into power by taking the first step of action. Although all signs will feel the weight of this new moon energy, there are some that might find it a little more testy than others, like Taurus, Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius himself. All fixed signs who don't love change might find this new moon quite uncomfortable. Just remember that the magic of life lies right beyond your comfort zone. Allow the new moon in Aquarius to stretch you and show you a higher, brighter, and more quick, uh, witted um, version of your you, yourself. On the other hand, Aries, Gemini, Libra, Sagittarius, you might experience this new moon as a quiet pleasant. It's not to say that adjustments won't be necessary, but they'll be more likely um, be small ones, but that definitely doesn't mean you should slack off. There's still plenty of ways you can grow, um, um, so be sure to push yourself in the right direction. For anyone else, set those intentions, use them as, you, as your guides, and you march to the beat of the drum of your spirit and soul then it should come to fruition pretty quick and easy and i hope you enjoyed this video now we're going on to the reading 
Hi Cancer, this is your reading, new moon reading for February 2022 and I hope you're well and I hope you've enjoyed the introduction on what this moon is all about and what energy. Also, um, it is the beginning of the month and it is um, an ace that you come in with. But first of all, the all over energy is the six of pentacles. The six of pentacles means that if you are uh, more fortunate you could be giving to the less fortunate if you are less fortunate you could be receiving money from more fortunate people this could be a gift this could be money this can also be a listening ear this could be a helping hand what i'm also hearing with this because i don't only read the cards uh what they mean but also intuitively it could be that somebody um, has loaned you money in the past and now you will have enough money um, to pay back that loan since you've got the eight of pentacles or if you're in a judicial situation you will have victory you if you're doing a damage claim or an other claim you could be receiving money from this claim because we've got the ace of swords the ace of swords stands for municipalities institutions like the courts or authorities this could be a tax return for instance um, also you could be dealing with a gemini a libra or an aquarius and we are in aquarius so definitely in aquarius you will have victory also um, you could be starting a new study you can uh, or you can be doing research gaining knowledge or communication you could be getting a job in communication like an author a writer a music uh, songwriter um, vlogging blogging something like that and it will bring in uh, a little bit of extra money you might be doing a sideline next to your permanent job because we've got the seven of pentacles so you are investing your time um, and you're sowing seeds out there for something new that will bring you victory you could also be partnering up with a gemini since you've got the lovers you could meet a new lover you or there could be new love coming in or you uh, could be taking a friendship up to the next level perhaps you might have sown seeds and they caught on and now it's coming to fruition remember whatever you sow um it will take time to develop and to to grow and to blossom before you can pluck the harvest also um, you know sometimes you put out feelers when you've met somebody you you put feelers out like where do they live how do I get into contact with them and things like that so that is sowing seeds um, and now you've got the information and you're meeting up at a party perhaps or at a gathering at work or uh, via the internet the website because this is air so that the cyber is air you could be finding them um, on the internet so you could be partnering up in business or in romance you're definitely in balance you've also got luck because you've got number seven you're going up in the world from six seven eight wow you've got two sixes so make sure that double numbers that uh, if you see six six and then you know that is the divine showing you an answer or a sign also your hard work is going to pay off with the eight of pentacles um, this could be promotions or a wage rise like i said now you will have enough money to pay back the loan that you might have uh, borrowed some money from somebody else also um, this could um, this recognition will stand you in good stead and bring you victory big time okay so i think it is a very sweet little reading compare it to your weekly and see whether it resonates with the weekly eight is also um, the strength house of strength you are in your strength and you are balanced you're more certain of yourself and what you are doing in the next few weeks as this is the reading new moon to the full moon so uh, mercury is also going direct on the 4th of february so just watch out until the 4th of february and a couple of days after the 4th usually i say 10 to 14 days 
uh, if you're signing contracts, be careful. And also, uh, because of the Mercury uh, retrograde tail, we call that the tail, okay? Just get the, get the contract signed, uh, uh, looked, out, looked after, or checked out, I mean, uh, by a professional, uh, by, by a lawyer or a judge or a jurist um, before you sign it. Okay, so you could be also dealing with uh, authorities, like I said. This can be anything from a, 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 an estate agent to a doctor or a teacher or a professor or a lawyer or a tax office, something like that. But money will could be coming to you definitely and you'll be in your strength. Take care, my sweet cancers, and I hope you have a wonderful time in the next couple of weeks. Thank you. Please like and share.